What's going on, everybody? Captain Robert and crew here. Finally returning for Rise of the Black Worm, episode 11. Welcome, gentlemen. Welcome. It's about time, and I don't I don't make that joke lightly. It's been We're five here. weeks. <laughs> Has it been crazy. five weeks? Feels like it was last year. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. I mean, it was, yeah, I think it was March, like, 8th was the last time we recorded. And... Yeah, it's been a minute. You just like to give them that long suspense between episodes, all right? That's all. Oh, yeah. No. Really keeps the crowd, <laughs> like, bolts into their seats, truly. <laughs> well, uh, short announcement for me over here on the channel. We are going to play one more episode after 11. So episode 12 next week will be the finale. Yep. So pack it in. This is it. It's summertime. Everybody's getting busy. Who's got announcements that want to let the folks know out in the community what you're doing? Uh, I guess this weekend we're doing a Russ, we're Russ season four uh, with Mr. Fruit, Joey, and I think Blue will be there as well. I don't know if he'll be streaming, but we'll be he'll doing be that. That'll be fun. And that's about it. I got nothing. I'm just, I'm just working. It was working yeah. a lot. <laughs> That's it. You know where to find him. Yeah, yeah I got nothing. nothing. <laughs> well, we're happy to have D&D &D yeah. over here after not having AC in the office since the eclipse. You guys are the oh, first God. folks to get to roll die on the channel. Uh, oh, it has God. been a struggle Ooh. bus. All 20s because of the eclipse. <sighs> Oh, you know what, too? The last time we recorded, you were also eclipsed, Robert, because you were uh, a locked character. <laughs> so honestly, I could, I should just edit the, the one where you were a locked character and just put the one now. Oh, whoa, whoa. Uh, good shit. Good shit. <laughs> to bring everyone up to speed where we are at. Currently in Baldur's Gate in the upper city at a Chamber of Commerce outdoor gala. As you guys are currently free of your legal fees with Sawyer, Sawyer, and Sawyer. Free of a more nefarious devil pack as Mesmo is now a patron of the one who sought to take his talents. Still sought by the Zentarum, however, both Gloop and Damien, both knowing known poison excretors are still being sought because their assassin's poison has run out in supply. Gloop has been sequestered and is being chased after several individuals in black cloak and armor. Not knowing who they are yet, he has bolted throughout the city. Mesmo has failed somehow in his top stat and being Somehow. able to, <laughs> to impersonate someone from the city watch and is currently detained by two guards in the party while Agus, Lucius, and Damien have enjoyed the free drinks and beverages. We can pick back up wherever you guys wish. With Gloop on the run, or with Mesmo detained, the choice is yours. Just roll a dice with one or two, and then whichever one. <laughs> Just go I ahead know, and flip honestly, it. Not, honestly, I'm down. Yeah. Just All right. Flip a coin. Here we go. Heads is for Gloop. Tails is for Mesmo. Tails never fails. Come on. It's uh -oh. a question mark. No, oh, yeah, it is question no. mark. Find out <laughs> next time, guys. Right uh, <laughs> Great sesh. Here we go. Tails, it is. Well, crap. Let's <laughs> go ahead and show the stakes. We've talked about how many guards are inside the party, but I think. Our D, D party really needs to know how many guards are here. So let's take oh. a little peek. Oh. 
before we go into RP. Oh, oh, oh mama. look at that. So we can understand the pond of which Gloop stole the koi fish from is right down here. The rest of our party are right here. That's 14 dudes, by the way. Mesmo is being led from left to right. They're escorting him over and out through this balcony here. Gloop took off from this point back behind the shrubbery where he was sequestered by the mysterious black cloaked individuals. Currently Mesmo, you and the two guards. All right, all right. No more funny business. Come with us. We have some questions for you. Uh, these are questions I'd be happy to answer, gentlemen. There, there surely is a misunderstanding somewhere along the lines. I think we're done with misunderstandings. Steve. Okay. So you can see that I'm not Steve. That's fair. I'm still... I am still uh, shaped into that dude, huh? <laughs> I haven't I haven't dropped my cover. <laughs> That's it makes it even better. You literally look ah. like Steve. Um still. You can drop it whenever you wish, or you can continue to claim that you are Steve. Uh I mean it's probably better that you're still just probably better you're that not still like Steve. making a, not making too much of a scene. Yeah. <sighs> Also, Rob Blue Screen, he'll be back. Uh, okay, I'm, I'm here. I'm back. Oh, I just, okay. yeah, just got back. Oh, God. Just talking about the blue screens. And Dude. Just had one right convoked it. Oh, my God. The true oh, dude, big bad mistakes. of all streamers. Okay. So, Gloop, Gloop ran off that way. Are they, are they taking they, they're just, they're, they're not moving yet, right? They're just still in the same They position. are walking and talking. So, okay. Okay. you know, they're just getting down this staircase and uh, they're walking uh, in a linear fashion uh, towards okay. the other stair steps. Hmm. <sighs> See, I don't know how I want to play this one. So it's like we're 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 coming back in on a hot moment here. Yeah, I'm uh, still wanting to play this pretty. Like, I don't want to get yeah. kicked out of here because if we get kicked out of here, like all of this was for yeah. nothing. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. How are the are the other guards like really attentive? Or are they kind of just like you know? No, are it's they watching... it's it's civil because it's a party. Nobody wants to disrupt the vibe. So literally, uh, you know, it's a very. Um, I wouldn't even say it's a full grapple. It's like a it's a very light escort for Mesmo if. You all didn't know didn't by listening in. Um, okay, yeah, you did get manacled. You did. I forgot. You still. You, uh, you did get lippy. Because I was like, oh, that sounds great. Yeah. But I'm fair. Uh, so we had homework and you didn't do the homework. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so yeah, they're trying to be as inconspicuous as possible. Uh -huh. But Mesmo is manacled. Yes. Yeah. Good call. And they're trying out of there. Glad you watched the, in the Where last he... episode. <laughs> Uh, are they are they taking them into like the main building? Um, as far as you guys can see guards? from your perspective, they're walking in a linear path that way towards the east. Okay, that way. The issue is uh, that if we if we try to really intercept it all, I feel like it's just going to create even more trouble. And keep in mind that like. I know it seems like it's just us here, but there's also like dozens and dozens of people. Yeah. 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 For every open space, there are at least 200 to 300 people spread out between this outdoor gathering. So it's, it's maybe, maybe they could be distracted by some sort of firework show going on in the square and like all the, you know, everyone's 
Like, wow. I left oh, my fireworks at home. Mm -hmm. so oh, maybe they're distracted by some small, froggy guy running away at mock speed. I feel like you're already away. Yeah. Um, like he, you're not he's really going at mock speed, guards. so yeah. I'm gone. I'm out of there. Getting you back in is going to be a, another situation. Okay. Mesmo is going to literally be an almost direct eyesight from you guys. Okay. What do you want to do? What happened to the, uh, it's just the two guards. It's not like the, the shadowy figures either. Like, wh did they move anywhere? The, they... the shadow figures are chasing Gloop. Oh, okay. Oh. So he's on his own thing right now. Okay. Um. Okay. I'm making, I'm making enough eye contact that like, I see what's happening, but I'm just kind of like, like, mm, what's going on over there? Mm, yes, I don't know this person, but secretly I do. Um, oh, man. I don't know. I don't, I just... Well, I think I think you two need to figure this out because I'm a little tied up at the moment. Yeah, no. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm thinking just kind of like... Maybe just kind of tail them and see if we can like kind of eavesdrop and see if we know where they're taking them or... I'm I'm kind of of that mind as well cuz okay. I really don't want to disturb this area. Okay. Do you guys want to use anything to assist yourself in eavesdropping? Now you're going to give yourself some distance, so mm -hmm. somewhere between 20, 30 plus feet back behind them. Okay. So we're, we're so. like what, 20 feet right now? Yeah. Yeah. Just kind of like. So just for a kind of a reminder, if someone has passed without a trace, uh, you can try to subtly cast a little bit of magic to make yourself lurk in the crowd uh, a little bit better. Otherwise, it'll be a stealth check between the three of us. I have um, none of those things. So stealth I don't believe so. I don't either. Um, why can't that open my character sheet? Character sheet. You want to sell check right now? Uh, in a second, but I'm looking to see okay. if one of us has uh pass without a trace. Yeah, I can't I open up my that. character sheet. I don't know why. I'm clicking on, I can open up Dilucious. I was, I, I was looking at mine as well. I'm supposed to have uh, my warlock stuff right i think all i have is eldritch blast right now isn't that warlock stuff yeah well no i was stuff. wasn't i well didn't i get more when because eldritch there, blast was when i got my power up yeah but time. we haven't discussed what you got yet um oh, okay that's fair enough uh i was kind of let it we're gonna manifest it in story um preach i can't open up agus either so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna rebring these uh tokens in because this was built a long time ago yeah, at least five weeks. <laughs> yeah. uh, and it may just be a little broken. So let's do this. <laughs> All right, that character sheet still not opening. That's not yeah, good. That's not good. Um, Rob, why'd you, what'd you do, Rob? You I should have tested it, it, I guess. No, that's uh, it's the first time that's happened. Uh, looking on the other sheets, yeah, other sheets are fine. Yeah, I, I guess else. just not opening. What's this up with that? This would not be the first time something's gone wrong with, with Agus's customization. <laughs> what is up with that? He's the only one. Well, uh, very weird. Future Joey cut, I guess. It's... Oh. Let's see here. Yeah, you're the owner of it, everything. And it's just... 
No bueno. Yeah, this is not. Can you it. open it up on like the the other website? Well, yeah, but that I mean, I guess that I yeah. he can't really do anything then. We're going to try to rip this thing on the fly and see what happens. You were the first corrupted character sheet. Congratulations. Wow, yeah, wow. Good on man. the uh, new system. Oh my god. I did it. <laughs> yeah. Let's go. Uh, all right. Uh, I'm going to try and do a little quick import here. So that we can get you rolling. Rolling, 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 rolling. Come on. It. Also, Robert, I'm 100% back in wrestling. I do. <laughs> hey, I do. You would. I'm back. Everybody's yeah. back, dude. It's so good dude, right now. Renaissance era was like perfect, kind of. <sighs> dude, Cody Rhodes trademarked that's it himself. That's sick. <laughs> so that's going to be interesting. All right. Let's do a re import. Confirm ownership. We'll make Joey an observer. Dado an observer. Ruben an observer. And the stream. Save the changes. Go into the builder, make sure that you got all the things. Yep. 112 hit points. We love that. Warhammer of warning. I'm just going to drag this old stay, character I can, out. I can throw dice if they're on my hot bar. All right. And your yep, will be the owner. Let's see if this works for you. All right, I'll refresh my game. Do you want me to log out and log back in? No, I just put a new token down there. Let me know if you can uh, open your character sheet now. I can open it. Uh, wow, you have 112 hit points, Rob. Just like double click Oh my here. God. Is it, am it's I still in the be. same spot? I don't see it. Yeah, it, it looks like it is for me. Uh oh. Why can't I see it? Maybe maybe you go ahead and refresh. Boom. Oh, okay, now I see it. Okay, perfect. Okay, yeah, I can open it now. Let's go. Okay. Hoggies. Cool. This will. This will. Uh, we we can get there now. Yay! Screw you, corrupted character sheet. All right. Back to where we were. Uh, looking at my sheet, I don't believe pass. No, I do not have pass without a trace either. Let's go ahead and get a group stealth check. From us. Oh, wait. Oh, my God. That was almost so bad. Okay. Yeah. All right. I'm going to do mine anyway just to flex. Never mind. You're I caught. Can't, so. yeah, can't be really stealthy right now. All right. Ooh. I'm holding up the pack. I'm going to take a look at our card situation over here from the community. On our board. Shout out the community. Uh, they have taken care of us. Uh, I'm going to burn an indomitable so that I can uh, do a reroll here. We still have two more of those left. 
We got plenty of inspiration dies. Remember, you can use one per episode, a D6, a D8, a D10. Uh, you can also use advantage. Uh, you can do a complete reroll with Lucky. All right, here sure. we go. I have three of those. Ooh, much better. Now we're Good talking. Stuff. Now we're All talking. Right. All right. Ooh, a 19. Yippee. Well, Ruben, you're you're currently galloping rooftop to rooftop. Yeah, I. Uh, but you're stealthily doing it. I guess nice. All right. Super stealthily. Mezzo's got an 18. Damien's got a 23. Agus has got an 18. Or, oh, sorry, I don't so need I'm to do lucky. it. I don't need to do Mesmo. I need uh, uh, Dilution. Do you want to keep your 13? 13. Um, Should I just roll for self too? Just go for it. Ruben. We're gonna get to your rolls, Ruben. <laughs> um, we got we got an average of 18. I feel like we're chilling. I agree. All right, that's fair. Mesmo, do you do anything? as the guards lead you past the tree in front of your friends. Um, oh, you know, hold on. I have something written in my notes. Th this, this will. Aha. <clears throat> Uh, you boys won't be so confident taking me away when you hear from my lawyers from Digby Jr. and and friends. <clears throat> I said Digby Jr. and and friends. Go ahead and roll deception with disadvantage at the moment. Fair enough. My uh, ass does not know who you are. <laughs> Preach, Digby. Oh, so close. I know. As they kind of jostle your manacles a little bit and stop for a second. We don't care what you have to say anymore. You get to talk to the boss. And then maybe we'll get some truth out of you. Yeah, he's gonna ring him like an orange, isn't he? <laughs> Come on, Steve! And you do get a little bit of a very subtle, the knee behind the knee, like the older, uh, you know, yeah. older brother to the little brother, just, just enough to make you buckle. The rest of the group, you see this. Was he trying to talk to us? <laughs> Yes, he's trying to talk to us. Um, but we can't interfere just yet. Well, I've never seen that man in my entire life. Should, should we tail him? I'm waiting for them to to walk away and then yeah, just kind of give like I, a nod. I'm, I'm Our friends are being pulled apart in two different directions. This is not good. I mean, what's what's really the worst they could do to him? Um, they just kind of need him in the back of the knee. That really hurts. So, well, uh, if, if that's as easy like, as it gets. It's not like they're going to kill him. Just keep watching. All right. Mismo, what's going through your head as you pass your friends? And they do nothing. I guess it must have been too stupid to realize it was me, but I'm sure Dilucius has a plan. I just hope Gloop got away okay. Speaking of Gloop, my friend, on the run in Baldur's Gate, you have an incredible amount of movement as a frog monk and your jumping capabilities. There is only one way that you can be caught by these shadowy figures. 
either you roll a one on your skill check or they end up rolling a 20. Mm. Like that would ever happen. All right. I need you just to roll a flat D20 because the modifiers don't even matter. We're okay. literally only looking to see ones and 20s. All right. So you're going to roll Watch. a die, and then I'm going to roll a die, and then you'll roll a die, and then I'm going to roll a die. Watch this be so far from a one. Nowhere close to being a one, because oh I God. would never. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> hey, hey. Why are we trying to speak this one into existence? So I know. Yeah, I don't like the energy. Okay. <laughs> uh, go ahead, Gloop. Describe yourself on the first trek. Like, what's your first, like, I'm out of here move after you leap off the bridge into the darkness of the city. I leap off the bridge into the dark mist of the city and take a little gander behind me, knowing that I'm moving at speeds incomprehensible to these stupid guys chasing me. And I know they don't have a chance, not even a slight smidgen of one. I look around, I see that there's nobody to my sides yet, but I am keeping that in mind that maybe as I cross an intersection, there'll be some guards there uh, ahead of me. And I'm just keeping in mind, okay, I just got to run. I got to jump and I got to get as far away from this place as humanly possible. And uh, what I'm thinking about is, okay, so I'm leaving my entire party behind. They're still at the party. Uh, I don't know what's going on with Mesmo. As far as I'm aware, Agus and Dilucius are perfectly fine, and I hope things stay that way. Um, and I'm planning on how I'm gonna meet back up with them later once I inevitably escape the guards, because in Gloop's mind right now, there's not a single chance that he's getting caught. Um, and the plan is, once he gets really far away from, uh, from the party, uh, probably just call Sawyer, Sawyer, and Sawyer, uh, and just wait for my friends to also call Sawyer, Sawyer, and Sawyer, and then we'll all be in the little carriage together, and boom, perfect easy meeting point. All right. The mysterious group chasing you down. First roll. Oh. <laughs> I saw two digits. I know, yeah. NFL wide receiver style. You are already turned around looking back and you have some distance. You're clearing, jumping between roof to roof, completely undisturbing the city around you. Go ahead and make another D20 roll. All right. Again, okay, straight seventeens. All right. Oh, we didn't the one. <laughs> the one was there. At this point, you can barely see them in the distance. You're almost in the clear, but you need to make one more roll. Boom. Oh, that's perfectly fine. <laughs> totally not a, cool. Not a one. Don't get nervous. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And there is no natural 20 on their side. Disaster Blue. avoided. You disappear into the city. With potentially calling Sawyer, Sawyer, and Sawyer, but we aren't there yet. Back to the rest of the group. <laughs> okay. So here's here's what I'm thinking. I have a couple of plans that, I, that I've thought of. Number one, we pose as agents, higher level agents that have been actually trying to catch uh, Mesmo as a fake criminal and we're going to try to get him back into our custody so that way we can interrogate him for whatever fake crimes we, we make up. Okay. Or 
we all pretend that we're super drunk and sort of get in enough trouble with like messing with the guards that we all go with See, I think if we like mess with the guards and but like in order to go with him, we kind of need to do something bad. I think they'll just kick us out of the party if we get too drunk. Like they'll, they'll just mean, go, oh, they're too drunk. They don't need to go to the prison. Like I feel like we'd have to do kind of something bad to meet the boss. Yeah. I like lying. So for me, I'm I'm very much a fan of the first one, but only because maybe we could like, maybe you guys could pull something where the secret I mean, I'm down to kind of do a, a buddy you know, you take him off your hands. But fake, fake out could be a long shot. I have the best. So these are just like and... these are like just like castle guards, and they're not necessarily looking for Damien for his poison, right? The people that are chasing Mesmo are the one or uh, Gloop are the ones that want the poison. These yeah. are City Watch. They are okay. a separate branch of Baldur's Gate guards. Uh, the Flaming Fist. Uh, take care. Oh my god, I clicked the wrong thing. Uh, <laughs> Flaming Fist, take care of the city proper. Uh, everything outside of like the aristocracy. So these these are your uh, these are kind of like your your upper crust hired. Okay. Um, can I do any sort of like knowledge or history check if I know like if there are kind of names? of a fake agency that is kind of higher than this guard or something. Or I, see, I was going to do something to... completely out of town. Okay. Like, I was going to be like, my name's Julian Durst. I'm special agent uh, with Winterhold being like, we've been looking for this guy uh, for crimes committed in Winterhold for the past six months. And you guys are kind of interrupting our operation right now. But also thank you for apprehending him. We're going to take him back to Winterhold kind of a deal okay. all right like damien will go I along mean, with anything that you guys decide i can even like shape shift into something that you describe so like that's the thing is they think i'm posing as this other dude we can say I that's look not identical real form yeah i look identical to okay if you guys want to approach the guards and try to act as if you're agents from Waterdeep. Uh, a town just north of Baldur's Gate, the City of Splendor. I think, look, cause here's the thing, is if we get in trouble, at least we're all together, <laughs> Yeah. right? Split the party, sure. worst idea, right? Otherwise, I don't know how we're getting back there and I don't wanna just leave Mesmo alone and then we just don't, I don't know what we're gonna really accomplish. You know, if it's just the three of us. So that's my idea. Take it or leave it. Or we act drunk and then we try to get in trouble with the guards. Maybe, maybe just a reminder, off. everybody here is in a different dress than what they normally are. You guys yeah, are yeah, you guys true. are in your uh, uh, your clothes from Upper City. So you don't appear like, uh, you know, just a ridiculous adventuring party. Right. Who's going to initiate? I'll do it. I'm just look at everyone. I'll follow your lead. I was, uh, and I'm just, just be like, just, just play along. I might sound a little different. Just play along, okay? Can I sound different? If you want to sound different, you can sound different, but commit to it right now. Oh. Uh. And I just, uh, I sort of like, I start making my way through the crowd real quick, and I say, "Hey, uh, agent. Uh, excuse me, sir. Guard. Guard. Excuse me." They will both oh, no. spin around. Oh. I can't move my token. No, oh, thank you. Oh my gosh. What? Uh yeah, 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 yeah. Excuse me, God. Uh, my name yes. is Julian Durst, special agent with uh, with Water Deep. This is my uh, my accomplice in training, uh, uh, Digby Junior. Um, we believe that you have uh, 
you you guys we were in the middle of an investigation regarding uh this this individual right here and while i appreciate i'm gonna also flip my badge in the middle of this my detective badge even though it literally has just just a quick just quick little flip right flip flip, flip. back uh you have been uh you, you thank you very much for for cooperating in my investigation but this this man is wanted back in water deep we've been tracking him for the past three to six months i i even forget how long it's been that we've been tracking him but we have been hunting for him hunting for known accomplices and we need to take him back to water deep for further investigation and i'd be kind of careful with him he's a mind reader and I put on my 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 ring of the mind shield to kind of really I just, sell it. I just point. I just point. He's prepared. Do you have one? Do you have one of these? <laughs> you, this... got, you got him. Oh, you, got, you got one of these. You got screwed up everything. I I've, I've been avoiding these guys for so long. Ah, dang. And I can't even read their minds. He wants to read my mind. All right, we're gonna make. I know everything. <laughs> We're going to make two rules. The ring is a great asset. That is going to give you a, a Dilucius a flat roll. Mesmo, you are still on disadvantage on your deception. Dilucius, your deception is straight up. Okay. Uh, oh, I didn't know if you wanted me to roll or not, but I did. Hey, I like that roll, though. Oh. Oh, oh. Mm. that's all right. We're going to give you thematically a guidance. So roll a D4 as well, Dilucius. Oh, 25 for Dilucius, 18 for Mesmo. Rob? Oh, do I need to do it? No. You assisted. Yeah, I'm, the, I'm the one I was going to say, I was going to yeah, say, the, maybe his, the, maybe mine, his the, 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 the ring did it. I didn't okay, need to. I, I did the ring. They're like, whoa. Like, <laughs> Ring's a great call. Uh, they are going to incite this role. Fifteen for the guard at the top. Here's Steve. Steve gets to roll with advantage because Steve is on edge. Nice. 18. Water deep, you say. They kind of glance back at each other. They pull Mesmo close. To all three of you, guards. Uh, be careful! He's you. trying to mind read me now. Wouldn't happen to be a reward on this uh, mind reader, would there? Uh, you know, let me uh, let me uh, give me one moment here, and I just kind of turn around. I'm just like, do I? I'm just like thinking to myself, do I even have? any money I think I'm just like digging through like the the bottom parts of like my satchel and everything and I come up with let me see here check earlier on how much money I had I have do 35 50 uh, I think that was so I have I have about 50 gold I have no literally no idea if that's like way too much of a bribe or not even remotely close but f it we ball and i come back out and i said look this is all i have on me right now but i appreciate with your cooperation and i and i hold out 50 gold go ahead and roll persuasion with advantage Nice. 23. Nice. An advantage insight for Steve. It bounced on the 20. Uh, ah, 50 gold. You've been up to some nasty things, have you? 
as they both look over at Mesmo. Well, 50 gold would have worked until he tried to impersonate one of the city watch. I think we're going to have to double that. Hundred gold, and I believe we could release this prisoner with no problems or citations. Boss, gentlemen, if you could excuse willing, my party for one moment, and we just just break away. I'm willing to give him my ring. And actually, I'm wondering. And I hold it up like, ooh. I might be able to cast distort value on Rob's ring because I can double the value. Nah, Can worry, you cast distort diamonds. value on the 50 gold to make it a hundred gold? I also <laughs> probably could do that, but I, I don't know. How that, Can you I don't know how distort that would work. value on one gold to make it a hundred gold? It's It does say double the value, but... Oh, uh, okay. okay. If you offer, do. if you offer the ring, I'm going to let you guys, you guys have a little sidebar. If that's what you want to do. I can yeah, still cast quick, magic while sidebar. while I'm handcuffed, right? It's not like magical handcuffs. Uh, you have to see whether it's uh, what the components are. If it's just somatic, where you can just use your mouth. If it uses your hands, then uh, uh, can't. Ah, uh, range touch. Okay, never mind. I have to touch it. Ooh. Yeah, they will certainly not let you touch the ring. Yeah. Especially since I couldn't mind control them at any second now. I really think I sold them on the ring. We should think yeah, about I like... Bar, we... And I just look at both of you and say, do you have any money? That I mean, ring is worth to... far more than 50 gold. It, I, I really have never used it. This is kind of the only time that, you know, it's ever kind of come in handy because he's a mind reader. If it works, it works. I mean, if you're willing to to give that up, I'm. Hopefully, that that should be enough. I don't know. Did you any, any loose change in your in your pockets? Anything? I mean, I didn't bring I, a lot I, of cash I, with me. I mean, I didn't bring. I don't really. I gave it all to you before we went shopping. I I, I ten. That is fair. I haven't been quite honest with the rest of you, but I don't know how to count currency. <laughs> you you what? You don't know I come from a culture anything? that doesn't count currency. We don't use things like this. But, do you but it goes anything? one, two, three, four. I like don't care if you don't. Do you have any? I, I don't care if you, you can count it or not. That's yeah. It's not even currency. You just can't count at that point. He pulls out. He has no, nothing. <laughs> <laughs> nothing. Somebody. Well, nothing somebody has always asking. paid for me. Uh, I am one hundred percent a freeloader. Hmm. Weird. Right. Damn, oh, man. No, you will, alligator. Will you give Will you give me a D10 to scrounge around in my bag to see if I have any more like, loose coins? Yeah, I'll get you a loose coins check. You, you know, okay. no one's ever asked me for a loose coins check, and I'm yeah, so here for this. Like, look, I had to dig deep. I had to dig real quick. There's, I know that it could be more. I just don't know how much. <laughs> uh, yeah. Hey, hey, man. Just roll a D20. Whatever you roll, that you got that many more gold hanging out there. Okay. Okay. Huge. 11 bucks. So I got okay, 61 you... and the ring. Okay. So here, okay. take, I'll present it to you all dramatic. So when they kind of look at us having the sidebar, they'll be like, so I, okay. I take off the ring. Okay. I get down on like one knee. I do like a circle into a square, touch it onto my forehead and put it into his hand. Just tough. place my hands like that. I will gen very gently close my hands with also the the 11 gold in there he's a real son of a bitch isn't he uh. <laughs> tell me about it I, i'm anyway the side sidebar ends we'll turn around gentlemen look all i got this is all this is all we have on our person we i found a little more gold in my satchel here and we have uh. the ring that we showed you at the very beginning protect your minds this is all I can offer you right now. Otherwise, I'm going to go have to fill out some more forms. And uh, that's going to take a little while. Here's the here's the Arcana check from uh, Steve and his, <laughs> his, 
is accomplice. Nice. Oh, uh, Steve, that uh, that's a special ring right there. I. Uh, Even if it's not special, looks shiny enough to me, got some weight to it. Alright. But here's how this is gonna go. I don't want you looking like me anymore for the rest of the evening. As he kind of uh, pulls Jeremy, you into the crowd. Need to worry about that. Alright. I want to see this prisoner's real form. As he's going to oh, take the yeah. ring, he's going to take the gold, but he is going to wait to exchange Mesmo until he changes out of that city guard disguise. My, my true Gentlemen, form, I, you say. I, I assure you, he is. It's so her, like we don't want to scare the patrons here. I mean, we're My already true kind of making a scene. Form. You don't want to see that. You were a fool to remove that ring, kitty. And I'm gonna shape shift into Agus. <laughs> <laughs> what the f oh, going funny on guy. here? Funny guy. I can control your mind. <laughs> Ah, uh, guys, put put on the ring. Roll a uh, performance course. check, Mesmo. No, oh, these I got. <laughs> All right, let's see. Hopefully. Yeah. Eighteen. Go ahead and roll a performance, Agus. Okay. That's so stupid. <laughs> <laughs> oh my yeah. god, it's a 16! <laughs> uh, uh. Score, put it on before it's... Ah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh The net 20 from Steve! No. You know, Steve was on us from the start. <sighs> Oh, you were this close from getting out of it. You <laughs> were this close. But now that I know that I got a shifter on my hands and their accomplices, you're all coming to see the boss now. Hey, we need a little help over here. And they gesture to the guards behind you as they start coming down the steps. So close. So close from getting out of there. What do you guys do as they are approaching and they are looking to manacle Agus, Dilucius, and Damien? I mean, there's no more like trying to do persuasion on like any of this right it's like fighter fight i mean you can certainly I mean, uh, you can I, certainly I, try I, but it's i think we could yeah. it's I, low I, percentage I now conversation i will try more conversation let's start like go rolling on the floor now like i'm really trying to sell it yeah. uh agent agent digby Look, I know you're a junior, but relax. I need a wizard. He is apprehended. He is apprehended. Okay, I don't know what the meaning of all this is. Your mind is weak, Cat. From Watergate, from Waterdeep, and we need to bring him back. Oh. I already gave you the fee. I don't know why we need to bring more guards into this. Oh. Go ahead and roll persuasion. Straight up. Okay. That's tough. Yeah. Use one of them re-rolls. That you can. Would you like yeah, to? I, I'm, I, I'm going to, I will give it, I'll give it one re-roll. All right. We'll mark off an indomitable for you. 
You're looking at a 17 from the new guards that have walked up. Okay. okay. Uh, persuasion. Okay. Oh. I don't know if a tie is, means we're okay or we're not. I don't remember. <sighs> As the two new city watch walk up back behind. Agent of Waterdeep. Say. A special agent, thank you. G gentlemen, please. Don't get too close. What's wrong with your this friend? Is, this is Digby. He's he's in training. He he thinks his mind. I'm in a is mind battle right, right now, now with the yeah. with a mind reader. Like I turn back to him. He's an agent in training. What Steve? What the they all sound like they're a bunch of drunks. Except for this special agent. Uh, I, what do you need with these guys? I need for you to put manacles on them because I need to take them to the boss. <sighs> you need... Uh, uh. And what I need is to apprehend this criminal who has been on the run for the past three to six months so we can get out of your hair. Roll another persuasion check. Mama, no getting out of that. I was just about to suggest something too. Oh, <laughs> and they see. finally roll nothing. Oh. <laughs> wow. It's so over. <laughs> uh, you know, on second thought, Steve, just I'm, as long as I don't have to do take care of the paperwork, I don't care. They're going to approach and put manacles on Agus, Dilucius, and Damien. I don't want to know. The less I know, the better. And please stop no 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 gnawing at me. Just give me your hands. Okay. I'll tell you what, the deputy director of Waterdeep is gonna hear about this. Well, that's gonna be Steve's problem, not mine. Hope you like filling out forms, Steve. <laughs> hey Steve, can I have my ring back then? No, I think I'll keep it. Just in case he tries to get into my mind. And by the way, quit shape shifting around. Yeah, show your true ugly true form, because you definitely don't look like me. Fine. If you insist, we can do this your way. And I am going to shape shift into my true form. The form of the old woman we met in the very first episode. <laughs> it was right? It, it, to say it, it is true, since she is dead, uh, <laughs> you can assume the form uh, and not have to worry about her showing up. Uh, <laughs> so, call back to that. Uh, oh, reminding me. Filthy. What Dirt. did you say? Another worse than a dirty old woman. No, I never. Come on. As they pull the manacles and begin taking you towards the east. Do you all comply? When I get a hold of your minds. We're still waiting for that. Still waiting over here. Oh, 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 no. Look, sounds like the ring's working. Damn that ring. It's one of the best rings in all of the world. <laughs> Back somewhere inside the city. Glute. I'm grabbing water. Yeah. Keep going. You've used the bath phone. The carriage has arrived. Empty. Without your that friends. Sucks. Okay. Well, I didn't expect my friends to be in the in, in the carriage yet, but they'll call it eventually. They will call Sawyer, Sawyer, and Sawyer soon. Maybe in a few hours after you know they've left the party. In my head, that's what I'm assuming. 
All right, so you're going to tell the carriage to basically just roll around town waiting for this call? Yep. Because, I mean, as far as Gloop knows, oh, yeah. I'm just going to wait a few hours. They're going to be done with their little party. Everything's going to go smoothly. They're going to get out with Mesmo. And I'll be here waiting, and they'll know to find <laughs> me here because they'll be smart enough to call Sawyer, Sawyer, and Sawyer. There's just a black carriage rolling around water deep with this frog on the other side <laughs> pressed up against the glass looking out for his friends in the back. You know I'm handcuffed. I know Come in my me. head with confidence you'll you'll make your way out of the situation. All right. With what Gloop knows, this is the best. This is the, like this is the best, like, thing he could come up with. This is the best plan he could but come up he's, with. Gloops, Gloops, remember, he's been drinking, too, so... Well, that a enhances bit more confident his than thinking usually. abilities. Uh, you can continue to drink in the carriage. <laughs> oh, hell! Oh. Gloop is... <laughs> Gloop is Changes throwing everything. back never, a few more leaving. bottles. <laughs> How much leaving. alcohol is available? Uh, is this is a three-man. Technically, as much as you want. It as is a magical as carriage. Want, yeah. Is taking full advantage of that. Complimentary drinks. Gloop is getting <laughs> wasted <laughs> while he waits for everybody to come back from the party, which they will. All right. Gloop drinking in his lonely black carriage, waiting to see his friends on the other side. The rest of you are escorted down a set of cobblestone steps and over to a very, very Soviet block style concrete building with rebar over its few windows as its door swings open and you guys begin being sent down a series of stairs descending lower and lower into the city. Is there anything that you want to talk about while you're being taken down these steps? Hmm. Probably not. I, are we still yeah, running with the water deep agent thing? I, I'm <laughs> I'm still ride or dying that okay. until until they really flush me out or like something happens where I need to break character. Okay. So I if I can, if, as well. if we have to go down to like another set of guards and then I could convince one set of guards and then there the guards are fighting with the other guards then maybe something could happen okay right? so but if i just crazy. give up then it's just like it's over all right and i'm still trying to get into agus's mind over here just Meh. <laughs> how does he know that i'm thinking of the number five again <laughs> uh, as you guys are escorted down Guys, only hear the creaks and the lit torches as you're brought down into a jail cell. Loading jail. <laughs> all right. Let's pack them all in as they open up one large cell. Boss will see you when they have time. When you have time. Don't put me in here with this mind I, reader. I can read minds. I like grab the bars. I'm like, you have to put him in another cell. Him. Uh-oh. We'll see what happens when we come back. As he attaches <sighs> the ring and pockets the 61 gold. Ah. Uh. Curse you, Steve. All right, but here's the thing is that they still believe that he's a mind reader. We can eh. use that. 
I don't know if Steve's too convinced. But Steve rolled nat like, 20. He's not convinced room? of any of yeah, your is shit. It, is it just here? Like, are we, is it just here, us right now? In a... Yeah. Yeah, you so. guys yeah, are down here in a jail cell. Well, way to go, Mesmo. I, I was trying to act it up. Yeah, so you changed into me? I thought you could have literally me. changed into some disgusting thing that interrupted the party, like I said. But no, you want to be funny guy. Yeah. We're trying I, to rescue you, man. They didn't believe it, okay? Steve was on to us from the start. I don't know where Mind Reader had to be put into the character sheet. Well, but it was we were, it was pretty we, convincing. We were trying to think of some sort of a of a backstory for you to, so that we could uh, reclaim you and, and we could get out of here and, and think of a new strategy. Can, can can I do a perception check to see if there's anybody else in like the jail cell? If there's like other prisoners or absolutely. Okay, if I could click on my character sheet <laughs> again. How can you not click on your character sheet? Let me try. We went to a new. Okay, there we go. There we go. I see. I, I see. I see. It was having me on Stormforge for some reason as well. Um, perception. Not too shabby. Oh look, there we are in the gutter. <laughs> Heck, there's two of you. Ah! I was gonna say I don't look like him anymore. Well, I mean, here we go with a sixteen, kind of leering out to try and peek over here at the closest cell across. You can see some shadows up against the wall, but you don't have direct eye contact at them. Oh. Uh. I think we need to keep our voices down. There's somebody or some buddies uh, across the way in the other thing. And it's you know, somebody we should else. Get them, can... What? We should get them involved and, you know, tell them that there's a mind reader in here and they can start freaking out and then they'll have to release us. I see, I feel like the mind reader. If thing. we didn't have to get anyone else involved in this, I can't read minds. Yeah, but they don't know that. Yeah, so you can. You have to guess really, really good. All right. I can do my best. So, I'm going to go at one point, guess a number between 1 and 17 million. You will have to guess. And if you guess that number, we'll for sure get out of here. Why don't we just agree on five? Yeah, pick a number right now, then. No, it, one to five. That's It's far too few. It's That's five. Impressive. That's one in five chance. One in 17 million. That's, That's all Agus thinks about. Chance. Okay, if they ask, I'm thinking of the number six, six hundred and ninety-six thousand nine hundred and ninety-six. You're not gonna remember that. Trust me. Um, I'll remember that yeah, number. Write that number out, and trust me, he'll remember. Um, I'm gonna just like look around the jail cell to see if there's any like weak point like are, are the walls i assume we're just like three stone walls and and this this cage essentially right roll a um investigation okay double checking my uh my features and whatnot to make sure i don't have any giga bonuses that i'm missing out on i think it's just uh perception is what i'm having a big boost to okay uh, investigation. Okay. 18. This is a solid jail cell. There doesn't appear to be any weak points in it. And you've gone down at least three stories you counted before you arrived down here. This is definitely a serious detention facility okay. uh, well, the one okay. thing that is particularly odd is the size of this detention facility for upper city generally this would be the size 
of something that the Flaming Fist would take care of in the heart of the city. Hmm. Okay. I mean, luckily, Gloop is surely looking for us right now. So it's only uh, a matter of time until he finds yeah. his way down here. <sighs> yeah, there's no way they caught I mean, him, so... Well, they probably didn't catch him, but for him to find his way down here is... I'll Pretty say it, wish, wishful thinking. Um... What is, like, the thing... What What is the thing that is locked here that keeps us in? Like, what prevent... What is the mechanism that is preventing us from escaping right now? Uh, with your investigation, you currently have a large mechanical lock that was set by key that is holding these iron bars in place. Okay. Is there any way from the inside of the jail cell to reach through any sort of gaps and try to fiddle with the with the key if you have thieves tools yes there is a dc to try to pick the lock from the inside well what do you know mesmo do you happen to have any of those on you still i do and i just hit a 19 16 or 16 excuse me but that's still pretty high. It's pretty good. Unfortunately, yeah, the whole time. Never been locked up before. Oh no, I forgot you're in the uh you're in the frail uh, old woman form. All right, you're not Never in Agus form. Up before. <laughs> you're you're able to get your uh your your hands through the bars and begin to try to pick this lock from the other side. It's 25 your final number. Uh, what do you that's, guys you you say, say, you that's You want to toast it with maybe like a D8 or a D10 or something? Sure. Could I grab a D8? A D8? Absolutely. I will mark it off. They've given you guys a bunch of new things. And we already have four of them anyway. So let's burn it. All right. D8 burned. Go ahead and roll one of those, Mesmo. Ooh, oh, that's what we like to see. I would have thought that was bad, but then oh. I remembered you rolled that last time, and it was yeah. and it was Pog Champ. Thirty. These three. old fingers aren't done cooking yet, boys. I even set that sucker high at a DC thirty. Whoa, <laughs> Mesmo! For the first time. Something has gone right for you in the last. <laughs> Thank you, Thief. Four episodes. 72. The last 72 hours of Vesmo's life has been cantankerous. <laughs> to say the least. <laughs> but you I'm have just, just, just picked this jail cell. I'm just sitting down, and then I hear the mechanism open, and I was like, and I'm just blown away <laughs> that that was even a possible the, the thought of escaping this jail cell was so outlandish to me <laughs> that I didn't, I'm the dog that caught the car right now <laughs> I'm just like great analogy that worked? Well, I I didn't I know you had that in you Mesmo I got it. I'm just I, don't, I have no idea what to do now I'm, I'm stumped because I didn't think in a million years that would work. <laughs> well, it looks like they set our uh, they set our weapons right over here, and I think we could just leave, gentlemen. Uh, I don't think we're just gonna leave like that. Did you see how many stairs we just went down? It's they never even took your they never even took your weapons. They just put you in the jail cell. That's amateurs. Uh, do you think we should you know see what that guy's in for and see if we you know we get him out of here he helps us get out you know type of thing everybody roll perception check okay but i guess what if he's a mind reader well good thing we have a mind reader to face a mind reader oh 
<laughs> Ouch. Oh, I thought that was the bad guy. I was like, hell yeah. <laughs> they don't know shit. <laughs> Damien has already gone full Shawshank Redemption and is marking day one over on the side <laughs> of the cell. <laughs> uh, 16, 13, 22. Oh, sorry. I double clicked that. Keen mind. Uh, oh, yeah, I, I was because I was hovering over it and I was like, what does that do again? And then it tells me here. Yeah, never mind. Don't worry about that. You guys have haven't even been in jail long enough to know if there are guards here or if there is a pattern. You guys just hear doors opening, closing. It's like that moment uh, in Wolfenstein where there's a boss Yo, know, 30 doors down and you just keep hearing there is just noise all throughout this jail cell. Um, okay. Maybe I could track some footsteps for a way out where the guards were. I'm going to I'm going to try this again. Surely it doesn't it doesn't backfire twice. Transforms back into Steve. <laughs> oh, oh, this is awesome. I'm not very creative, okay? Uh, you are Steve, uh, but you don't have any manacles. I was gonna say, are, we're not manacled, are we? Like, anymore. Uh, no, the manacles have all come off uh, when okay. they put you guys in the cell. Okay. Yeah. So All right, I, want... I think I just lead you guys out of here, and no one will ask any questions, <laughs> right? <laughs> they don't know why you're down here. I can say that it was a misunderstanding with the water deep uh, agencies. I, yeah, I, yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just never. I didn't think we would get this far. I'm still, I'm still just stunned. Here, uh. That, this uh, put, Nothing ever. Pretend works. your arms are, are are tied and uh just you know look down and keep to yourselves. Can Damien, I? Damien, uh, no, stop writing letters on the thing. Can I I, now I... that we're out in the hallway, can I get like a? You said there's like a lot of doors opening and closing. Can I get a sense of scale of like how big this place is down here? Yeah, it is larger than any detention facility that you think would be in upper city. Uh, okay. this doesn't seem like it is city watch property. Okay. And you guys can't even hear the sound of the music that was being played outside. Okay. Hmm. Is there like any way that I could like have us go back the like follow the same kind of path we went down and try and like hit the stairs basically um i don't know if there's like tracks that i can try and look at or anything i can like recognize from the walk oh there yeah there's the stairs you can get you guys can try to go r right up you don't even know with the time that's passed yet if steve and his partner have even left this facility yet like you guys literally got in and picked the lock. Yeah, they closed the door, started walking up, and then four yep. seconds later, it was open. <laughs> like a like a cat in a in a baby gate. You guys just jump right over it. I'm surprised that they didn't so we're, hear it. Are we like in the hallway technically, or like have we let? We're just in the hallway yeah, of the we're, dungeon. We're like we're like here now. Yeah. Could I, I? I think we bounce before they get done with the paperwork. This is Steve's what? voice, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, um, I don't. So, um, I'm gonna do like. Uh, can we all do like a perception check to see if like we see them through the door or anything like that, or can we peek around the door? I thought the stairs were just. Open. I thought they went upstairs. Did they go oh. upstairs? Yeah, they yeah, went I up the they... stairs. Yeah. Okay. See, I kind of want to investigate around here. Okay. a little bit more to see if we then can let's do that. get some more intel on the thing that we're actually supposed to be doing which is finding out about let's do know. that 
Let's let's, let's, let's hey. snoop around a bit. Hey. Right? That's the whole point of getting in here. Hey, after you guys get out, the shadow Quiet that you. Agus saw Go earlier see. is now up, pressed against the gate. It's a human. Dark clothing. Whoa. History checks from all four of you. Love the 19. Let's go. He's done it. He did it. Oh, Ooh. Damien did it. From a 1 to a 20, my boy. Whoo. Dilucius. Damien. Damien is going to go over to your ear, Dilucius. Zentom scum. As you both recognize that they are wearing clothing brandished with a black worm. How'd you guys get out? You have picks? Come on. Uh, I can't, I can't talk to you because we're being taken back by Steve, our guard. Yeah, inmate. Quiet down. What the fuck are you doing down here? Uh, inmate stuff? None of your bizwax. Probably something Steve would say. <laughs> he doesn't know, like, general sayings, so he just messes them up <laughs> just a little bit. <laughs> None of your bizwax. <laughs> you don't have any power down here. I, I don't. You just Can came out of the jail cell. So. Okay, so you're a perceptive little guy. All right, all right. Agus, take it away. Uh, I'm lost. You want to, I don't know. He's in jail. What is he going to do? He's in jail. <clears throat> Come on. If you get me out of here, I can reward you handsomely. We need to do something before the guild shows up. Quick. Who's, who's showing up? I thought this was like a... Why are, in, why are you in Steve's, such a hurry? Steve's place. I don't know who the fuck Steve is, but you need to get me out of here before the guild shows up. We're all going to be dead. Go ahead. Uh, Dilucius, you're a Baldarian? I'm from Waterdeep. Okay. Go ahead and roll history checks. Okay, Damien oh. really, Damien Ooh. really knows what's going on. Let's go. Damn. Damien, I mean, if, plot point, and Kosh. No, I feel like it should be Damien. That's true. <laughs> this is all happening to him. True. <laughs> <laughs> true. True. Uh, the guild are the ones who run the city. The Zents don't have control of Baldur's Gate like they want to. That's why they're fiddling outside in the outer city. They trade here, but the guild are the ones who run the show. The guild is the predominant conglomeration of gangs and black market trade inside of Baldur's Gate. They are a completely separate organization and they often clash with the Zentarum. Enemy am I enemy? Am I right, Damien? I don't... Indeed. I don't... I don't, no, I, I, mm, are both not enemies right now? Enemy and enemy, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. We're, yeah. So we're... That would... Hmm. I mean, we're really after the Zentarum with this whole situation, but now it, it's, I don't know. If there's a bigger, in, there's a bigger baddie. No, it's a bigger yeah, fish. But I don't know Let's if that, say. I mean, I guess I can just ask, I can just ask Damien. Like, it's not Damian, so who, much a bigger baddie. It's, this is who controls Baldur's Gate and the Zintarum want to get more of it. Right. But the Zintarum are really still our focus because they're the Zintarum are the ones the that are after you guys. This is your first encounter 
with the guild. Right. And yeah, technically, so you're really just hearing about it right now. You you are inside of a guild prison. Mm. They're going to show up anytime here. You can either accept my offer or die down here. All right. if, if I had my mind reading ring, I would make sure he wasn't mind reading me, but he I, makes well, like a compelling guess point. Guess what? I'm good at insight checks, so I'm going to insight. Go for it. Hell yeah. Insight of the fuck out of him. Just punch this dude in the brain metaphysically. <laughs> I'll make the roll. Ooh, 37. Just missed it. It seems as if he's telling the truth and is compelled and motivated to get out of this jail cell. He is sweating, but he is making eye contact when he talks to you. Hey, maybe if we just maybe if this guy has like pole with his antarum, we can get them off like Damien's back. You know, maybe you know. The saying is keep your enemies, you know, not far, but keep them close. We can keep your friends close as well. Judging by how nervous this guy is, he gets no pull. Want to keep many people close to you? Yeah, I, I suppose. Um, if we are to let him out, we would absolutely need something in return. And I would like to know, I, I don't see, I don't think he, this guy's got the pull to be like, hey, get the Zentarum away from Damien. That, that is a, a, a tremendous ask. Unless well, this guy yeah. happens to be literally the leader of the Zentarum, which I find very unlikely. So I think we need Maybe to- Maybe this guild does have the pull. Hmm. What is it you, what is it you all want? Good. I can get it for you. Uh, Don't you know who we are? I um, want my ring back. I don't know anything about your ring. Don't, uh, don't worry about the ring. I'll get you a new ring. We'll get a new ring. Okay. Don't worry. But we can certainly try. We have plenty of ways of obtaining things. What, Ty Lucius, am I letting this guy out? If we are to let him out, we need the closest, we, we need some sort of restraint to put on him. Is, is there like a some sort of handcuffs restraint around just a, the jail we, cell? We could somewhere? do a pinky promise. Those are very This serious. is the Zentar, you're gonna trust the Zentarum with a pinky promise? I'll do one better. We have his word. I'm going to then shape shift into that guy. Did you shapeshift in now into the Zintarum? Uh, yes. Dilucius, I'm going to give you a 15% chance at finding a random pair of manacles somewhere in this hallway. So I want you okay. to try to just roll a flat D20. And we're going to see if you can hit a 18, 19, or 20. Jesus. You win these. Oh! oh that's that's upsetting. <laughs> okay. No manacles to be found down here. What are you? Oh God. Oh God. They're gonna kill me. You've already shape shifted into me. I'm going to yeah, make a wisdom saving throw. Time is up. Whoa. Time to me. What was the point? I guess it's time. As he pulls out a coin you see in his hands, it's not a soul coin that is charged. 
yet. But it does have the ball spawn. That's a cool coin. Okay. And he crunches down and you hear the crack of a back molar being split. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> and he was a- frosts up in the mouth and falls back against the wall. And you I see that coin well. inside of his hands. Ooh. Light up. I thought it would be like a like a party Ooh. trick kind of thing. I thought it would see what tra- transforming into people does. Ooh. I, I didn't know I would transform into him. He would kill himself. Is that Tarm's <laughs> going to hate us even more now? Do you want me to try to, to save him? You're going to have to open up the cell. Yeah, oh, open it, open it, no. open it. Oh, God. We need, he has information that we can use to leverage getting I him out of it's here a little and, late, and getting guys. us information. I should have just committed to it. We, let's try to get in there. 23 does not open the cell. Do you want to use an inspiration? <laughs> Even from the outside? It was like 30, I think. It was a 30, yeah. Uh... Uh, you have your own. Uh, you have your own innate inspiration I, as well, true, which I is a use lucky. Uh, which is D eight. You can use luck. You can also use one of your inspos. You still have a D ten and a D six left, Mesmo. I would need to use the ten, and I feel like even then, yeah. Um. Well, you don't so know like, the DC yet. You've only true. you've only factored in what was your cell from the inside. Should I try and should I try and re-roll right. again? You should respect would, somebody trying to commit seppuku, guys. I would correct. Should not I, would, I would crack the ten. Crack the ten. Yeah. Then there you have it. Thirty percent. Oh, thirty-one. Right. Once again, you were able to open the cell successfully. Damien is going to rush in and try to revive this Zintarum. Whoa, full character moment here. All right. I need to make a roll. Saving the person he once hated. True. (laughs) This is development. Character turn. Yeah, we'd love to see that. Is it, I mean, is it a poison? I mean, I guess he's probably dead. I was going to do like some sort of um like cleanse poison or something like that but absolutely or less, what? lesser restoration all right so you want to come in with lesser restoration i'm gonna make yeah. a d4 roll okay. since this is someone who's ended up in a jail cell they have probably gone unconscious or died before if they were in an adventuring party I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm just going to do a 50, 50 and see if they have been revived before heads. They have a clean slate tails. They've been revived once heads. All right. There is no penalty. This is the first time this person will ever have been revived with dilutious applying lesser restoration. And you can see it. It goes from foaming at at the mouth to slowly just a dribbling drool on this five o'clock shadow. Humans and Tar. Mesmo, Mesmo, maybe it's better when he comes back alive that you're not looking like this because then he'll just eat another pill. Good good idea, good idea. Um, Would casting lesser restoration (laughs) at a higher level help my chances at all? Nope, just at this level, you're going to give uh, myself advantage on the spell attack rolls that I make to revive them. All right, I have a spell attack of 10. All right, this is the first time reviving. So it is a 14, 16, 18. We got a little D1 protection and the advantage, which is good. Uh, if I double one, the resurrection ends immediately. 
If I roll a 20, it succeeds immediately. It is a three-part challenge. Good luck. Here we go. I, just need, I need to commit to more decisions. I just need to, I need to yeah. commit. Make the call. Yeah. All right. Just got, I got lost up in the in the whole guild situation of like, wait, who's more, less evil? Than that? <laughs> I, was, I, I think I think honestly, this guy, enough. me getting oh, also is that good? That's very yeah, good. That seems higher than, good. Higher than a sixteen. I feel like me getting like watching this guy kill himself because I I, I morphed into him. I think I am gonna go back to base Mesmo now. Okay. Because this Back is a little, yeah, I, I've been stunned out of my <laughs> yeah. It would like, be very shocking all of a sudden, like, yeah. oh, God. Oh, oh, oh. All right. The mind, you can see his eyes begin to kind of pull back to center as his mind returns back to his body. And that soul coin begins to fade. And then Mesmo... Everything freezes around you. Uh, not you. Oh, yes, it's me. What do you want, demon? I'm in the middle of something. Now that's entirely unfair of you to call me an uncouth demon. We all know that I am a devil, and I respect the rules and laws of this universe, just like you should respect a simple request from me. What do you want? <sighs> the Zintarum in front of you is dead. It does not matter. There's no reason to waste a perfectly good soul coin. Don't make me fight you in this. I believe that Damien has it. He's he's brought me back. I'm sure he can rustle up the courage to get this Zentara back on his feet. I'm not here to discuss ethics with you, but if you're going to be stubborn, Esmo, I'll get my soul, whether it comes from this disgraced Zintarm or not. After all, it seems like you're all preoccupied and that poor little frog is all by himself out in the city. What? It would be a shame if something were to happen to them Don't while they were all the by themselves. Well, that's a choice for you to make, Mesmo, no? You could make this all stop, and I can enjoy the fruits of this soul coin in the way that we both should. Or I would have to take drastic measures on my own. <sighs> Shit. So, what is he? What is he asking that I do? Is he wants the soul coin, right? He wants, wants you to, to stop this. the revivify so that the Zentarum soul yeah. remains inside of the he's soul like, coin. If you don't do that, I'm killing Gloop. Was, that's what I got he's, down He's that. threatening to go after Gloop if you do not stop. Gloop wins those. I'm just saying. See, I know Gloop would <laughs> say really, that, but I think, really I think, <laughs> I think Mesmo is like, I don't know, dude. Have you seen Final Destination, you. bro? When death I wants know, something, I he know. gets it. <laughs> I know. So honestly, I'm I'm a part of me is like <sighs> I'm not going to raise my voice again. We're past that, Mesmo. We're all fates are tied. Do the right thing for you. Or the easy thing for me. And <laughs> time catches back up as Dilucius and Damien are both attending to the body he is now trying to remove the poison that has racked his veins and turned them dark necrotic black he's beginning to make the roll on revivify for the second time 
Asmo, do you do anything? Do we really need this guy to be brought back to life? Like, let's think about this. I mean, I'm kind of with Mesmo. I mean, he he didn't want to be alive, and you know, I already said that. So, like, I think cool we should respect my side his now. death wishes. <laughs> well, we could have well, used um, him to get more information on the Zentarum. But maybe, uh, maybe it's better that they stay dead. This is not the time to be debating this. I'm sorry, Damien. But this isn't a debate. What do you mean? What's going on? Why are you being weird, bro? I think his soul is gone. What is is, is, is what is was that was that Steve? Gloop. What the hell was that? You are not a healer. What the hell is going on? Gloop can handle himself! Revive him, Damien! Quickly! What? He shakes his head and goes back to his actions. What the hell? 27, you begin to see his body being restored before you. I mean, why did he, why did he say glue? I don't know. I need to concentrate to bring his soul back. This is the hardest oh, yeah. part. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm now pacing the jail cell, just like racking my brain. Now, when it comes to resurrections, the soul has to want to come back to the body. Damien and Dilucius both put a hand on either the shoulder of this Centaurum. And then time stops again. Mesmo, please, I've brought him with me this time. He's not completely encapsulated. As you see this absolute shrunken form in your patron's hands chained by the neck attached you also see inside this form multiple other souls stretched out back behind him almost like a connection like a uh, kind of Ooh, collection They don't want to come back, do you? As he pulls on the chain and this soul shakes back and forth. Do them a favor, it's the wishes, Esmo. It's your wish, you evil hound. You have enough. This one has something we need. And if you lay a finger on Gloop, I... Uh. Mesmo, this is a D20 versus D20 against your patron. <laughs> right. Here's I your line. Here. No pressure. Oh, oh, baby. oh, oh it's a two. You need to roll anything oh, but a nat one. Like, no. No, 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 no. <laughs> nice. Hey, that is the happiest thing. Hey, one more that's than we needed, baby. One more than we needed. We needed. <sighs> Describe severate, uh, severing this chain and hold they have on this Zentarum soul. Okay, I'm gonna reach out. I'm gonna kind of grab the the soul chain that my devil was was rocking back and forth in front of me. Um, I own you, remember? And this is something that my friends need. 
So whether or not you think you're in charge, I would pipe down next time you think of interrupting our business again. And then I'm going to take the soul and toss it at the body. All right. Uh, and then time resumes. After all this, the dude's not going to want to come back to his body and yeah, all this. Is just, I know, yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, hit a, hit a one here on this last resurrection roll. <laughs> uh, the, the, the good news is it has been, uh, uh, it has gone from going into a soul coin to going straight into a devil's hand. So it is going to take the path that Mesmo has led. Here's the advantage roll. All we need is not double ones. Surely. Hey! We just get 18. <clears throat> As you see the soul coin. <clears throat> we got you out of the jail. <clears throat> He's gonna look over at Mesmo. I don't know what you are, but whatever you want, I owe you. That's correct. No, no that no, Damien's the one that did all the stuff, and Dilucia's the guys who are holding your shoulders. No, no Dilucia's the semantics. one that made you eat the poison. No time for semantics. We are getting out. You are staying with us. No funny shit. You got it? Yeah. I got no problem letting you go to the afterlife again. Well, I do. I we can... need to get out of here and we need to find Gloop immediately. I can barely move. <laughs> Just kind of hoist him back up. I guess. Over the shoulder. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, I'll do a strength check, I guess. <laughs> Hey! Oh, let's go! Over the shoulder and into the wall behind that you. Nice bath towel. <laughs> yeah. Let's go. Don't get any of that spit on me, though. I don't like that. As you hoist up the weak Zintarum in your arms, are you guys going to try to stealth out of this jail cell? I'm gonna ask the Zintarum real quick. Uh, did, you, did they bring you down these stairs? Is there an, an escape out of this area? Do you know anything about this area that can help us get out of here? Oh, yeah, hold on, sorry, hold on. I was holding them the wrong way and I turned to give him the head to the... Okay, you ask him now. Yes. The, the thing I just said. Whatever we do, we don't walk out of here the same way that we came in. Go down this hallway. We need to go to the tunnels. Okay. Quickly! Quickly! He's not lying. I can Pretend you're asleep, mind. though. Pretend That's you're sleeping. No. <laughs> it's not going to be hard. Okay. <laughs> We're gonna make athletics checks. Goody! All right. My favorite of the checks. Hey, I'm down. All right. I love we are honoring <laughs> Agus's first nat 20. And we're gonna blow through two of the skill checks. You're only gonna have to make one against this guild agent that is somewhere inside this jailer area. I'm gonna make one athletics check from them. Oh, don't don't look at that one. <laughs> that that wasn't me. Surely that was misclick. Oh, Nat great. one. Oh. Easy. Okay. Let's go. All right. I need a athletics. All you guys have to do is not roll collective ones. Oh, How about collective sixteen? Answer the F right now, bro. Hi. Yo, let's go. All right. With the information from the Zentarum, the 20 and that Nat 1 from a guild agent somewhere here, you guys successfully make your way into the sewers. I'm going to let you guys 
go use the restroom and take a quick break as you will pick up with this Zintarum. What are my oh, gloops yeah. up to? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what was like? He has a blood rock going out. to his heart right now. Like, what do you mean? Like, he's just gonna have a heart attack while we're like playing. Gloops just having a great time. Not my ties. Losing track of the time. Just having, just having a wonderful drinking up. And surely you guys come any minute now. He's patiently waiting. You guys find yourselves alone in the sewers of Baldur's Gate with this barely conscious Zintarum. There is no threat of being lost down here. You can see plenty of sewer gates up to the city streets. You can literally take the time to orientate yourself to pretty much wherever you need. You guys are in a spot where you can do pretty much what you wish. You're not on any kind of timer here. Um, if that's the case, can I like maybe lay him down and try and like make a like a small fire for him to keep warm or something? Like every buy like a uh, it's pretty an air hole. So, here, but I don't know how I feel about lighting a fire in a sewer. Personally, a lot of methane down here. Right? Not cool with that. A lot of, lot yeah. of gases. You probably want to refrain here. from the fire, but uh, yeah. you can make him as comfortable fire. as possible. You put a blanket over him. You guys have that. the magic and the tools him. to make him more comfortable. Oh, I'm muted. Interesting. Okay, so we're all just kind of taking a second to, to catch our breath here. Good job. Hey, uh, He's going to uh, take that empty you? soul coin and he is going to yeet it and throw it in to this sewer away from his body. Second chances, okay. right? Tell me about it. What's um? What's this thing you and Mesmo got going on? As I like start kind of eating a little bit of my bread rations that I have. Let's just say he stopped me from making a stupid decision. He looks over at Damien, Dilucius. I also have you to thank. I didn't want to come back until until I was persuaded. Thank you. Seeing what's waiting for you on the other side is never pretty. I should know. Indeed. We're glad you're back, but now you owe us information. I do. I don't know what the guild has against you but I have information that they desperately want and I have all my orders it's not what the guild wants with us it's what the Zentarum want with our friend here he's gonna kind of eye Damien up He's going to roll perception check. I need you to perceive the shit out of this man right now. <laughs> 22? <laughs> You've got to be kidding me. No, I am not kidding you. <sighs> well, isn't this a situation? What do you mean situation? I kind of like grab on just to the handle of my warhammer. Your friend has been on the wanted list for a while. We said information we don't know. I brought you back and I didn't want to or have to. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty beautiful. That you did not. Let's all call this a 
bit of fortuitous luck. I'll be honest, Yon T. I have no business with you. Your ziggurat is long gone, and it's not my order. We've moved on. Well, you still owe debts. We've moved on to a bigger prize internally. So, let's make a deal. Ooh. I'm interested. I have the information of the replacement for our wing snaked friend here. The problem oh, is. He doesn't do that. <laughs> he rolls his eyes and looks over at him. <laughs> <sighs> and then he thinks better of it since he was literally manhandled and carried out of here by the unit that is Agus. I have the line on a bigger price. The guild doesn't know about it, but it's on their turf. And they and know, are... they know that we're up to something, but they don't know yet what. Any muscle that we could use to acquire these new assets would not only absolve you of your wanted status but you could be rewarded heftily this is a beyond a once in a lifetime occasion But if you are cut in, it is blood in, blood out. That's a good band name. This new what, target. What is this new replacement? This new target? I, I will not orders. speak of the target until you swear blood onto me. We cannot be oh. double crossed. But what if it's just another person like Damien? And you know, that's what the thing is. That's like no better. I will that's... give you this. It is not a person. We are done dealing with the emotions and the lives of the Yonti. Well, I mean, I, I don't know. I, don't, I, I wish I could hear what he said first before I give my blood that's kind of you don't physically need kind of your fine. blood it, it, <laughs> oh, it's not I, oh i thought it's it was like some cool thing where like i cut my paw and then like you cut your hand and then we like shake on it type of thing no that's disgusting no. and no well you the one that said you're, blood you're not becoming a part of the zentar will you just tell us <laughs> oh god just tell us <laughs> you saved your life I cannot risk the mission until I have your word. Do we have your word? You that save Damien would be cleared of all words debts. going around. My life, I can have it approved before the mission. You come with us. But I swear to Ball, if you double cross us to the guild. We have no allegiances to the guild. I just as many as we have to the Zemtarum. Is to clear Damien's name and keep him safe. That's I it. pinky promise we won't double cross. And I hold out my pinky. What is wrong with your friend? <sighs> to be fair, that is one of the highest uh, promises that he offers. Come on, do it. <sighs> hold, hold, put that pinky away. One moment. Damien. How yes. Do you feel about all of it? We, we should not be making this decision for you. It's your life at stake. True, you're the one that should pinky promise. The only reason that I have a life is because of you all. I am here to carry this through. If this is the best way out, 
for me and for group. And I will do what it takes. We need to make sure this new target It could very well be our slimy friend. It is not your slimy friend. It is not from this world. Yeah, I think Gloop is not of this world too. So that's what I'm kind of worried about. <laughs> yeah, well. me too. I was just I about to say that's that, I guess. what he's talking about. <laughs> <laughs> will you just tell us, please? We won't double cross you. Damien will pinky promise. <laughs> Who's going to make the persuasion check out of the group? I have a plus five. Do you yeah, want me to? I have uh, plus four. Well, I think for, for persuasion, I have a plus six. And actually, sure. wait, do I get bonuses for that? If, card, yeah. if you do the persuading, then you can do so with advantage. Who, Joey? Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah, I have silver tongue, so it, it makes uh, charisma and persuasion checks. If I get below a 10, it counts it as a 10. But hopefully I, I don't get below a 10 here, <laughs> so that would never come into play. Go ahead and roll with advantage. All right. Ooh, that was close. 17. 23. You've saved my life once. I will put my life in your hands again. He'll extend his hand to shake with yours, Ms. Mo. That's a wise choice. Now I shake his hand. Our target is in the Feywild Society's building. They have a rather valuable procurement. That's right, Yonti. We're trading people for plants here. If we get our hands on these valuable assets, we won't have to worry about procuring poison anymore. We'll be able to graft, multiply, this is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. But we have to strike fast. And steal these plants from the Feywild Society. If you aid me in our agents... You will be rewarded handsomely beyond your imaginations I will secure your freedom before we go as you'll be working side by side with us but the minute that you do this the guild will offer no quarter to you you'll be treated as is in Tarum, even though you are not. Well, I wasn't planning on sticking around any guild prisons lately anyway. No, I don't want to know what Nine Fingers Keen has against you in the first place. But she's not to be messed with. They don't know this is happening. We are the only ones. We will strike first. We will strike quick. And then we can go our separate ways. Hmm. First things first, I think we need to make a call. Do so. I don't know how a plumber's gonna help us in this situation. 
We need to find Gloop. Does Gloop have a device on him that can receive him? Like our... Well, uh, assuming he basic. got away, he probably went to Sawyer's. That or the hotel. Either way, we should get back there. At the very least, I would like to get out of the sewer. Indeed. As you guys call Sawyer, Sawyer, and Sawyer's carriage from down inside the sewer systems, you hear it screech and come to a stop above one of these sewer grates. Gloop, go ahead and give me a constitution saving throw with advantage. <laughs> All right. Okay. Constitution. Okay. Right. Shift for advantage. Yay, I'm just... There we go. Oh. Oh. Okay. Oh, oh. Wait. You're, you're, yeah, you're okay. Good. I thought that was a four. <laughs> So I'm good, right? No, no hurling today. The door opens up as you guys return up top side. Gloop with a 14. Heavy buzz, man. Heavy buzz. Lots of empty bottles, cans. It looks like someone's raided the mini bar at a fancy hotel. It's just strewn about. As you guys open up, surprised to see your friend inside. What? So y'all have it. Y'all had your fun at the party, right? <laughs> I take another swig. You guys have been missing out on this mini bar this entire time. Let me tell you what. It's good to see y'all. Hey, come in, drink up. I'm not as bad as him, am I? No. In this current moment? Nope. No, you're not. Hey, who is this little fella y'all got with you? Hey, what's up, buddy? You want to get some drinks in the carriage? I mean, we got plenty in here. Don't say anything until the door closes. Make sure not to touch him either. Anything yeah. we say, can and will be used against you. Okay. Are you just hey, going to new buddy? Let me lead you over to the mini bar. We can talk whatever is going on over here with a few he drinks. Am I right? Really in any condition to be consuming anything from a mini bar. Well, it's more for me than I guess. I won't I won't resist. Just I, dump them on I, the couch. I think something. actually you should lay off, Gloop. <laughs> lay off the drinks? I mean is free it's... we've been gone for hours have you been here the whole time i mean I how long we have been gone for hours. i ran away from those little guard guys i came over here i was like hey well i'm sure the fellas will know to come back here i mean we didn't discuss it beforehand but it's a pretty solid bet so i mean i've been here for a while i mean just drinking up i mean what else am i supposed to do in reality, it's probably been, I'm guessing, 30 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> that whole sequence was probably maybe even less time than that, honestly. You guys were quick. put us in there and then we were out. Yeah, yeah we were out true. immediately. <laughs> immediately, dude. I didn't know how long the tunnel was. <laughs> time at all. It yeah. was just Seeing as we out. got a 20 and then to a nat 1, pretty quick. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and Gloop's like... 20 shots in yeah we don't have to like climb out of this thing we just kind of get to go in is that the kind of vibe i'm catching or uh, we, yeah we're in the carriage we, we're in the carriage now yes yeah. okay and just put our friend here on the on the i don't even want to know his name yeah you, you have not uh <laughs> discussed names so yeah no i honestly i don't even know if i want to know it at this point yeah Um, okay, man, I don't know what to do when like something actually works. <laughs> this is kind of new for us. This is really new territory for us. 
<laughs> Hi, Sawyer. Uh, Sawyer is not here right now. Please leave a message. Remember, all accounts cannot be resolved over this voice message. I walk up to the phone. I pick it up. I swear, you. thank you for the mini bar, brother. This is great. <laughs> Let me tell you. Hey, hang up and hang up the phone out of his hand. <laughs> <laughs> We're just borrowing the carriage. Ignore him. Thank you I very much for your services. Click. Gloop shouts before he clicks down the phone. Love you, big man. Thank you. And then click. And then click. <laughs> this is an incredible carriage. Uh, I have heard of this Sawyer. Interesting. You have connections in high places. Maybe the Zintarum underestimated the Yon T. And he looks over at Gloop. Probably couldn't have wrung anything out of you anyway. Well, I, I'd like to see you try. For pause, man. Pause. Yeah, don't don't touch him. Don't plan on it. Um, man. You well, should have seen what happened to the we, last lady who touched me. I mean, <laughs> oh, he, don't talk about I mean, it. I, he, oh I, my God, he's drunk. <laughs> I wish I had that ring of mental shielding you were talking about. <sighs> we need Mesmo. to get to his compatriots soon. We need this deal to be handled so that we can get on with this plant. What is going through your mind knowing of your decision earlier? Mine? Mm-hmm. Because you've met up with Gloop. I, I'm feeling a lot more relieved now that I see that he's just been sitting here drinking the whole time. <laughs> um, still got, like, kind of a headache, though. And I'm wondering if that's going to come back. But I feel, I feel like I defeated my inner demons. Literally. At least for now. All right. So, Zentarum looks back at the rest of you. I'd prefer to not divulge any more of our plans until the moments before we strike. Is this your safest place? It's one of the safest places, but keep in mind you're in a lawyer's office, so. Indeed. Do you propose a neutral location then? Feywild Society is in the upper city. Should we meet at the tavern? How do we know he's not gonna do Elf Song us? is further down. Ah, uh, mm -hmm. we'd have to go back. However, Sawyer has taken control of your patrons old clothing, clothing shop. Yeah. Oh, true. So you yeah. do have a spot in the upper city to go. Mm -hmm. Trying to find my map again. If you want to use that as the safe room. Yeah, we could do that. Yeah, Especially that if it's like, it's probably late at night right now. Yeah. Things are closed. So yeah. we're probably not gonna have to worry too much. Just watch the double cross from this guy. All of a sudden, I'm thinking we're kind of. I don't think he can remember because he was all going crazy about us double crossing him. Yeah, but I'm... like the. Uh, yeah. I'm watching him. I oh, could... This might be some bullshit. <laughs> I mean, we've gotten some pretty specific plans out of him. It hasn't been too vague, so I'm. 
I'm I'm with you. I'm still watching. But he basically I said he like, like there's plans. Like, I did. I, to be fair though, I did like save different. him from like the devil's clutches. So yeah, he's pretty but they don't me. know that. They're yeah. still yeah, so. under the assumption of we're just in a handshake agreement here. You've kept that uh, close to the chest. That's true. That's true. Um, I think we make our way to the clothing shop. And yeah, we get some maybe get some more assurances that nothing is going to to happen to Damien before this whole thing starts. I like I don't even care about like I don't need to be rewarded. I just want Yeah. You know, I'm, we're not we ain't doing this to to get yeah, rich. I mean, I this is love of the game right here. Though. I mean, love of the game right here. So yeah, just some more some more reassurances. But uh, otherwise, I think we head to the if, head to the clothing shop. Riches is not what you seek. Then I will bring provisions for you to accomplish our task. That will be yours to keep. Whatever you want to bring, I. Uh, Damien is priority number one. Everything else after that, whatever. If Damien is safe, that's what I'm here for. I'll bring proof of his wanted contract being absolved. I will bring you proper gear for the task at hand. We will go and get our plants. Do I have your word? Entering. Faye. I walk up this. I walk up this Zentarum, and I hold out my pinky. <laughs> I go. You pinky promise you're not double crossing us. Careful, that's a Leonin oath. He has the right to rip your arms off if you bet double cross. He will extend his pinky to match right. yours. I'm double right. checking to make sure yeah. that his other hand doesn't have his fingers crossed. No, I, I, I tighten the pinky and then I kiss the thing and <laughs> ask him to do the same he lets out a deep sigh and he opens up his other hand and it's a pocket of stones and he leans forward and he kisses the hand and then no 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 we stamp Stamp thumbs, but while we still hold the pinkies, <laughs> he stamps the thumb begrudgingly. All right, yeah. you all saw that. Ah, I yes. kind of like walk walk back to my side of the couch. He lays the stones on the table, and they all begin to glow. My life for the stones that I kept from the guild. Dilucius, roll an investigation. I was just about to ask. Big. 19 Mesmo you would have a chance you are a runic warrior though Agus go ahead and roll a uh, a perception or an investigation your choice um what was it uh perception or pers what was the uh, investigation office? uh probably perception though 
Dang it, I thought that 19 was me. I was hyped. Oh. <laughs> Bro we got... doesn't know his own dice. <laughs> well, that's why I was like, why is mine green? <laughs> yeah. You guys clear it with ease. Dilucius, you spot. These are Ioun stones. These stones are ones that merge with your physical identity. They are gifts of great knowledge from the god Ayun that enhances your own abilities. Now, you guys have already completed this milestone encounter, which was getting out of the gala. So you guys were already going to level eight. However, the route with the Zintarum, these Ion stones will level you to 10. They will bring your level up twofold. Zam. Yeah. We chose the right path, I feel like. This is pretty I mean, weird. We chose a path. There's different, enough. there's different lanes on either side with different choices. A gift from the Zintarum. Damien with the 24. is going to look at those stones and not stop staring at them. Something catch our eye. Da Damien? <sighs> we can discuss later. Okay. We'll discuss later. Well, now that we have our agreed upon spot at the formal velvet needle, I think we should all get a good night's rest. This will not be a nighttime operation. Prepare yourselves. We will be going in at dusk. Interesting choice, but all right. We only have one chance on this. These creatures are coming in from the Fey at the golden hour. That Pretty is sure. all that I will share until we meet next. Uh huh. Okay. So is this your stop? <laughs> Any of them are my stop. This is our city oh. now. No. I don't know if I like that, but. Zintarum. Whatever you say. We'll give you guys a nod and exit out of the carriage. We never got that fella's name, did we? <sighs> no. Didn't need it. He wouldn't have it. told the truth anyway. Imagine but he pinky was, promised. Imagine if it was Digby Jr. That'd he be... didn't pinky promise to tell you his name. You should have included yeah. that in the list. True. Like they don't think you promise for a no double done, cross. We've made deals literally with the devil. You gotta be specific. I don't trust that, a man who you. don't accept a drink from Gloop. Gloop, that man was dead not 15 minutes ago. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like even more reason to not trust a dead man. What the hell is that guy doing in our carriage? Wait, so like what happened with you? He was... 
He was more than dead. He was in the palm of usury. Why didn't you like come to try and save us? What the hell was I supposed to do? I believed in y'all to take care of yourselves and look you did. So what are you complaining about? You know, I'm not complaining. I just would, you know, I don't know. Believe it or not, I think he actually made the right move. I, I fear to think what <laughs> Gloob coming to save us would have looked like. What did you and the gentleman at the bar have a disagreement with anyways? It seemed like you guys were getting along. Well, let's just say that he didn't believe anything I said about anything. So, so he was exactly had a run. correct in his assumptions. The CEO of the Z over here. It wasn't my idea to come up with a Z, okay? Just want to say it worked. No, it didn't. That's why we <laughs> ended up in this situation. No, we ended up in this situation because you got the guards called on you and then Mesmo like went into a guard named Steve and he got caught. Look, just because you got the right answer using the wrong formula doesn't mean it was the correct thing to do. (laughs) All I know Uh, is that I outran the hell out of those guys. Well, good job. Let's just get to the closing store and and, and rest up. I'm, I'm I'm already tense about visiting a, a Fey building of all places. It's. Do we need know anything about those things? Like, are they really that dangerous? I've never heard of these things. It's it's been quite a while since I've been to any Fey areas, the Fey wilds, a- a- anywhere really. I don't know. It will obviously be incredibly dangerous. If they're willing to take on any help possible to try to procure what kind of poisonous monstrosity that they're pulling from the Fae, it will no doubt be deadly. Quite. Not to mention these stones Let's put it this way. I have only seen one of these inside of my lifetime. And he's going to pick up one of those iron stones and a very particular one. And this one belonged to all tribal chief. I start to put up a finger. (sighs) These were not acquired without blood. As he lifts it up, that Iun stone (laughs) absorbs into the third eye spot. (laughs) It melds with his body. These were cut. from their last destination. These Iun stones have more than just blood on them. They have absolutely been acquired the black market way. Mm -hmm. But does it stop Damien from taking the one that he recognizes? Well, I mean, it belonged he, to his tribal he, chief. He's just taking it back. That's all he's doing. Yeah. He's just yoinking it back. Well, Under- he will. The tribal it, chief will take back what is. Then he hears the him. trumpets from Cena. Undertaker comes out and it's gone. Oh, it's- no. <laughs> and I'm just sitting there pogging. <laughs> and then the glass breaks. God, they really trolled us. <laughs> Hunter even released that last tweet at 316. We got no glass. I'm, that son true. of a bitch. Here. Here Gloop, this one's blue and it says Zulidium on it. This one Ew. must be yours. I love me some of that. I take it out of his hand. I throw it at my forehead, assuming it'll do the same thing to me as it did to Damien. It does. <laughs> oh. Is that what you were calling yep. your, whatever your thing was at the bar with that gentleman? I'm, 
I mean, apparently it's Dude, real. It's just yeah. working my forehead. Luke, Welcome to level 10, Glue. Tribal chief? Uh, <laughs> probably. I mean, you probably did if it was Lydia. <laughs> <laughs> Pro probably did. I mean, it absorbed it in my forehead, didn't it? Uh, there's what three stones on the table now? Yeah. Uh, are they all the same? Iron stones are all like, the uh, all the same in my world. They adjust to whatever you are. Okay. I was like, do they have like? Okay. So in D and D proper, they are all have a different stat boost, but in this case, they uh, I just always do them as a a general one that uh, will boost you. Did that hurt, Gloop? I don't think so. I mean, it felt pretty good, actually. I'm surprised oh, you can feel I don't anything want, right I don't now. want it to feel anything, I'm going to be honest with you. So and I, I grabbed one, and I put it to my forehead. <sighs> Hope this doesn't do anything to usury in there, but pop the green one right into my face. <laughs> yep, I'll take the last one. As a carriage comes to the stop back at the El Song Tavern. You guys exit to take your long rest. Does anyone want to do anything before you do so? Um... I thought we were at the clothing store and not the off song. No, tavern. we're go we're meeting there tomorrow night. Oh, okay. That's right. You're going back to your uh your penthouse to take your long rest. Okay. Mm -hmm. There's nothing I want to do before we go to sleep, but there are things I want to ask. Yeah, you don't know what anything happened. I would like to explain the at least to someone. Like you everybody everybody ignored when I mentioned that I saw Usri taking that guy's soul out. I mean, we, well, I, I was just in means. heat of the moment. I was, I was dealing my own thing, trying to make this. You should probably talk alive. to Gloop about it. Well, know? no, I mentioned it. I mentioned it, and then, <laughs> <laughs> and then Rob was just like, "So, where have, where have you been, Gloop?" I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> <Are> they, <laughs> they just treat Mesmo like they treat Mesmo. <laughs> he misses me. Oh yeah. Something like that doesn't even phase us anymore based on how many things True, you've yeah. gone through in the past <laughs> um, episodes. Yeah. So, so yeah, these... yeah, devil in your brain, got it. Yeah. Do these you stones had to off <laughs> with your mask? Do the stones double our level or make our level ten? We're getting makes we're level, getting 10. level ten. We go to level okay. ten. I suppose three levels. Okay. So do we do that right now in our character sheet? No, you guys get to no. do that here yeah, later. We'll be doing that like during the break later. Should I put mine into Warlock? No, you still have your additional. Um, uh, well, you can if you want to. I just don't. Uh, maybe that's not a great idea. Being Rogue 4, Bard 3, and Warlock 3. But maybe it is. <laughs> More story than uh, beneficial, probably. But hey. Comment down below what I should do. <laughs> <laughs> They're all going to be like Rogue. Rogue, 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 yeah, Rogue, yeah, Rogue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, throw your knives, throw your knives, please. So you can have F Yeah, more, that's more true. daggers. That's true. That's true. <laughs> I, at level 10, my unarmored speed bonus is now an additional 20 feet. Ooh. Um, I needed that really badly. Yeah, I know. You can just pretty much go wherever you want to at any point in time. I might as Power well be Zulinium. teleporting. Made it happen, All right, yeah. let's keep it to uh, let's keep it to RP. Anything else yeah. that you guys want to do yeah, inside this scene? Yeah, Ruben, did you want to ask questions uh, yeah. story wise or just about your leveling? Because I can answer those for you later. No, yeah, sto uh, story questions. Okay. Gloop needs to be filled in. Yeah. Or do we fill Gloop in, Gloop in in the morning when he's more sober and capable of caring? Maybe, we, maybe you just immediately pass out, you know? Yeah, probably yeah. in the morning. We'll, we'll, in the morning. For the, the morning. sake we'll, of brevity, we'll they will fill you in during yeah. your hangover brunch. Okay, bet. Was that it? Anything else you guys want to do before you guys let sleep take you? I got nothing. Fill up the sink and... <laughs> Make my bed in there. Get in. Yeah, I think I'm good. Mesmo. 
Do you my biggest you thing is go for it. Just fall asleep, or do you let your concerns for Gloop keep you awake? The latter. The the events of the day still rattling around in there. That's soul coin business. It is your choice. Do you stay up all night? It'd be like Freddy Krueger situation here. <sighs> Surely we get tired at some point. I will. I will. At the very least, be strumming my. Um, my loot and do the 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 uh, what is it the song song of rest but i i don't think i i can catch any sleep that night constitution saving throw one okay. please yep <laughs> that one that's pretty good Oh, that was ability like that? check. If I do need to do saving throw, but yeah, it's, a, it's they're plus one either way. So yeah, you do a good job of staying up to the witching hour. Oh, fourth quarter. Go ahead and make a Constitution saving throw at disadvantage. Where losses become wins, it's become losses. <laughs> that sucks. For better or worse, with loot in hand, you drift off to sleep. You wake up in a cold sweat. Perception check. Clue. Fuck. Ew. Literally surrounded by 16, 17, 15. I know. You can't find him at first. <laughs> You're terrified. Kloof! Dilucius, can't help anybody get up! Where is he? Where is this little frog? You Use wait me if you took him! You wake up the entire penthouse. Jeez. No gloop to be found. And then you hear the running water inside the bathtub. I barge in the door. Oh, God. Witcher style, you see those big legs outside of it. Who knows how long Gloop has had the water running over the course of the night, but he's there. He's fine, and there's no markings on him at all. And you slowly realize Usury has no ability or power to harm your friends anymore. 100% a bluff. What is ah. all that yelling? What ah. is it? I, nothing. I I was worried Gloop would drown in his bathtub. You could say he has some inner demons to work on as I like start like licking myself. I'm worried about the frog that sleeps in water wouldn't be able to sleep in the water. <laughs> Yes. I'm going back to bed. All right, that's <laughs> fair. <sighs> Glad you're okay, little buddy. He's okay. Well, he's out. And as you guys finish off getting your long rest, you guys will start your last session 
inside of the safe room receiving your plus three weapons. Oh. And additional magic armor before you guys go into the last encounter to retrieve these plants from the Feywild. Hell yeah. Big level up happening yeah. here. Big level up. That's yeah, really happen. though. You will have a lot of extra things, but I will try to uh, give you a short synopsis when I send you a little message of like, okay, this is what your big, this is what your big piece is. Uh, mm -hmm. Have fun picking your spells, Dado. Uh, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, Three levels worth. But you do know that you're going into an encounter with the Fae. Mm -hmm. Fae are known to charm, to poison, to confuse. And most uh, importantly, yeah. to strike deadly. Yeah, I might make some uh, some spell swaps going into this place, switching out some stuff yeah, we should for, uh, for other things. A, a powwow of getting our gear together, I suppose. Yeah. So you guys you went guys... down the Zintarum route. Very yeah, interesting. Were you not expecting that? Yeah. I expected you to run into the guild at some point in time, but you end up getting taken down to jail where I had the Zentara mat and it went down that route. The okay, folks that. that were chasing Gloop were from the guild. They were not from Zentara. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. okay. What did they want with him? If they weren't so fucking slow, maybe they could have caught <laughs> up. Well, even if they were fast. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> there are, not catching them. The guild is trying to figure out why the Zentarum wants you. They're trying well, to figure out what the Zentarum is doing inside of Baldur's Gate and increasing their presence. God, I would have loved to hear that conversation. <laughs> I, I know. The guild yeah. captures Ruben, oh. asks him what they want with him, and he's like, <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> Brother, I'm on my fourth beer at this party. I don't know. Uh, this is maybe it's for my pseudolidium. And Brother, they just want me because I'm a strong little guy. I don't know. The, maybe they know about my numerous crimes or something that I didn't commit. Possibility of fighting the devil. I can take it. <laughs> it was a good bluff. Nah, but, I'd win. Um. Also, if you just stayed in your cell, you would have talked. Um, the guild would have uh, yeah. would have approached, and you would have had that conversation where they're trying to figure out what's going on. No, Almost went so. back that way with uh, when you you changed into him, and he was like, "Ah, oh, I've been had." Just like I, I out. know, I, I realized that, that was a <laughs> spur of the moment decision that uh, almost didn't pay off. <laughs> it seems like we avoided talking to the guild at almost every point. Hey, they're okay. another, you know, they're another shady group. So, you know, you choose, you choose one. Yeah. The Zintarum have better buffs, but there's some good revenge points on the other side. But this is it. This is the, I know, I know. I, I'm not going to yeah. give you guys foe. I'm not going to, I'm not going to talk about that's it. Fair, that's fair. That's fair. That's fair. Yeah. 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 That's, the, that's the good part about D and D. You don't have to go back and save scum and have the FOMO of like what I missed out. There is yeah. only the path that you take. So there's not yeah. this like. Oh God, what should I have done? Yeah. You guys I did just, exactly what you should do. Yeah. Yeah. I, I wanted Hell to yeah. deal, I think with the, I think dealing with the Zimtarum directly and having a little bit of leverage would have been better than potentially working with the guild to be like, yeah, get rid of the Zimtarum. And then the guild just gets even more powerful. And then we have a whole different freaking problem. On our hands. <laughs> True. Yeah. In a, a, a potential future thing, if we ever do something in the future. So. Yes. Get to build off of it. Yeah, I'm so down, baby. I think I'd rather. So I'm going to give you guys some cool them. magic items that Hell do yeah. more than just plus three, because you guys have avoided loot somehow in this mini series That's like true. crazy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, I should have got you some loot in between now, but you're going to get some for this uh, for this last bang. So okay. I will send you guys a, yeah. a, a DM in the message there. Uh, you're free to build in the uh, D and D beyond. Go ahead and take it up. Uh, go ahead and take it up to ten, and I will send you guys little messages. But next week we will start on time, and we will head to the Feywild Society at Golden Hour. 
Yes, sir. We'll see how it all breaks Yay. out. Let me know if I'm you guys ready, have baby. questions about building your character over the weekend. I can help yeah, you guys out. I, I will. Copy that. I can guarantee yeah. I, Very Love easy it. for me. Plus three. <laughs> yeah, Rob, You're a menace. Rob and Ruben shouldn't have too much to worry about, I don't think, because like you guys are melee, yeah. punch, and hit stuff. <laughs> Agus is going to swing and swing a bunch. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I love it. And I have a lot of spells to play. Yeah, yours are going to be, there's some game changers in there. Yeah. So we'll have fun. We'll see you guys next Thursday. Much love, everybody. Peace.